everybody happy new year again today is new year's day i'm getting ready to start my um hop and john so i want to show y'all what i'm actually doing my little small space here y'all i'm telling you i need me a bigger space all right so this is the smoked joe meat that y'all always hear me talk about and I'm, all I'm doing with this is slicing it up and I'm gonna fry it this goes into my pot of beans and rice alright that goes into my pot of beans and rice almost forgot to film y'all now this is my pot that I'm using today it's a smaller pot I have beans in here I have two can of beans in here and I'm warming them slowly while I get the meat ready the meat will add to the seasoning these are my beans that I'm using I always use the Lord Chesterfield canned field, field peas. I keep them throughout the year because they have them on sale um, at my local IGA a lot. And they have them on sale five for five, five cans for five dollars. So I try to keep some on hand, y'all. I'm trying to get my tripod situated here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Not necessarily see me, but see what I'm doing. All right, I know that's not a, probably not a good angle, but that's the best I can do for now. So this is the smoked meat. It has a strip of lean in it, as you can see. And all I'm doing is just slicing it down and I'm gonna fry it a little bit to put in the meat and the beans. I mean, to put in the beans and the rice. It's like a pork bacon that has strickaline in it and there's a olive skin that once you fry it gets crispy and also there's some like fat and it, fat is fat and lean meat together I don't know how to explain it y'all I've been eating this since I was a little girl so it's just something that I grew up on a tradition so the tradition has been handed down to me and that's what I normally make on New Year's. My family like it, so again, I'm trying to, let me see, can I get from a different angle, y'all? I'm trying to, there we are. I think that's probably a little bit better angle. Yeah. So, I'm just frying it up, lightly frying it up, not a whole lot. And you can actually take the um, the grease off of this and save it to season up other pots because once you fry it, it does um, actually render fat or grease. So like I said, I'm just slicing this up, getting it fried down, and then I'm going to put it in my pot. So yeah, while I am actually frying this meat up, y'all, I'm going to go off camera and wash myself. I'm going to use two cups of rice for this pot because of the size of the pot. That's why I said it depends on what size pot you're using as to how much rice you will use. If you're using a bigger pot, if you're cooking for more people, of course you can use more cups of rice. But as I said in one of my previous videos, a person that actually cooked know what size pot they use and how much you know their pot can hold so that's something i can't tell you but i can just um advise if you have a small size pot like what i have well that's not really a small pot it's a medium size pot if you have that size pot start off with two cups of rice and two cans of beans or if you have the dried two peas that you had to cook down you can use two cups of those peas along with the juices from that for your hopping john. So y'all, I'm gonna go off camera, wash my rice, 
And I'll be back when I get ready to put it together. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I'm done. This is what it look what the um this smoked bacon looks like once you fry it up. And I had about six slices of this, and all I did was just dice it up into smaller pieces because my of my pot size. And then you can see how it renders. It renders fat just like regular bacon. Now find yourself a container that you can store this in and you can use this to season other beans that you cook or greens um, and if you don't save the fat off of it you can just wait till it cool down and toss it but these are ready so what I'm going to do and as you can see this is like a pan that I've saved from a pie crust because this is hot and you don't want to put it on like a paper plate or anything because it's going to it's going to uh, scorch it, make a hole in it. So I usually try to keep something that I can put this in when I take it out of a hot pan. And I will allow this to cool down this grease and then I'll store it in another container so I can use it for another time. But right now I'm just going to stick it in my oven because that pan is hot. And what I'm going to do now, I've already washed two cups of white rice, plain white rice. So what I'm going to do with that, let me pull my pot from the back that I have these beans on to the front here. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. I'm boiling some water to make some sweet tea. My family loves sweet tea, y'all. Cut that pot off from the back. Bring it up here to the front so you can see what I'm doing here. So again, this is my pot with the beans in it. They've been simmering for a minute. They're mostly already done whenever you get them Ooh, in the can. They're mostly already done. But I just like to cook mine a little bit longer so that they can be to the consistency that I like. The bean consistency. And yeah, that's soft. But once I taste that bean, there's no seasoning in there. So what I'm going to do is add myself some seasoning to this before I put my rice on. And I'm just grabbing my seasonings that I'm going to use. So I'm going to start with a teaspoon of well, a half a, well, that is a teaspoon. Or a half a tablespoon full of garlic powder. And again, I'm just seasoning these beans. So we're going to go with a half tablespoon of garlic powder. You can use as much or as little of that as you like because it's not salty. I'm going to do the same thing with my cilantro and lime by adobo. And it may be a little bit more, y'all, because I'm not opening the lid. And there's some actually going in it, but this is not salty, so. That's that. Alright. And next, I will be using... Some of my accent. Now with the accent, I just sprinkle a little in. I don't measure that. I just sprinkle a little in. It's a flavor enhancer. It's not salty. It just wakes up the flavor in your food. Give it a good taste. And then anytime you add liquids or season it to your pot, always give it a good stir. Now 
I'm not adding any table salt. That's one of the things that I don't use very often. Like when some people make rice, just plain rice, they put salt in it, I don't. It doesn't make, I've done it before, it doesn't really make a difference with salt or without it, so I'll leave it out. Now let me just... I don't taste any salt in that at all, so I think what I will do is add a table, half tablespoon, same thing with the other ones, of the lorries to this seasoning salt. Lorries. So I will add a half tablespoon of that. And this is the one you have to really be careful with, y'all, because if you put too much of that, it's going to be salty. So. <sighs> All right, so that's my portion for the salt. And again, I'm going to give it a good stir. Beans are good and tender. You want them to be soft but not mushy. So, all right, so I'm gonna let that be. And I'm adding my bacon to this pot. It's a little bit of fat that was in there. Just gonna let that go on in there. Now, I will let this simmer down just a little and then I'll be back to put my rice in it. Okay. I'll be back. Alright y'all, so my pot has boiled down. This is my two cups of rice that I've washed. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in and let that start cooking together. It is a very easy dish to make. And using the canned beans makes it easier. I had one person comment on one of my previous videos. Canned bean, I'm hopping John from canned beans. What did he say? It's sacrilegious. Well, you call it whatever you want to, buddy. My kitchen, my way. Your kitchen, your way. So now, as women, we cook a lot. At least I do. If I can find a shortcut as I'm making meals, of course I'm going to use it. And the thing about it, I'm not asking nobody to eat it. I'm just sharing with the world what I do in my household. So I left him a comment and said, my kitchen, my way, your kitchen, your way. And that was being nice. I don't have to explain to anybody why I do what I do, how I do it. This is my kitchen, my family. And one thing about YouTube, once you start, once you become a content creator, you're going to have all kind of people that's going to come up against you and say all kind of things about you and the way you do things but listen if you don't like what i'm doing on this channel you do not have to watch and i'm not trying to be ugly about it but i just get so tired of the negative people negative people can keep scrolling you don't even have to click on my content because regardless of how you feel about what i do I'm doing it because it's the way I like it and my family like it and I'm not going to change it so not like I said I'm not trying to be ugly or mean but it's time out for the negativity new year new ideas new things new attitude so yeah so I mixed all of that in y'all except for a little bit here 
I gotta let this um, juices boil down a little bit more because you know every time you add stuff to your pot, it actually brings the liquid up in it. So as this liquid cooked down, I'm gonna try to get the rest of it in there because it's not a whole lot. It really isn't. I'll just go ahead and get it in here and stir it in. But I'll have to stay right here and watch this so it doesn't ball over. It will get a half a chance. So that's why I was saying, you know, it's hard to give someone a measurement of how much rice to use. It really depends on your pot and the amount of liquid and other ingredients that you use. Now, just regular, I've cooked two cups of rice in this pot before, but that was just rice. Nothing else added. So once you add the beans and the liquid from that, you know, it makes a difference. So I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit more. Let's see if it's gonna boil. Yeah, it's gonna boil. Let's see how this is gonna turn out. Well, Got another pot on here behind me, and I think that's that pot that's doing it. Yeah, this is water from the lid, and that pot is making that noise you guys hear. So I'm gonna just take that off for now. I have a pot with some greens in it in the back, and the water from the lid is running down onto this flat top stove, and that's what's making the popping noise. So take that off for now. Let me add me a little more water to that. Okay. So yeah. We're going to let this simmer down. Oh, that's going to be good. Oops. No, I just did that. I stirred it and some of the liquid fell out. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer down and then I'll be back. Alright, y'all. So it has the water has boiled down so now what I'm going to do I got it cut down on two which is a low setting and I'm going to add my top back to this and just let it simmer my top here has a little hole in it so that will allow it to steam and that's what you want this rice to do is steam so the grains aren't hard so when it's done y'all I'll be back to show you the finished product all right y'all this Uncle John is done and I'm going to turn this camera around and show you what it actually looks like Okay, as you can see, this pot is heaping, y'all. That's what it's looking like. This is a close-up. It looks delicious. As you can see, you can tell the grain is tender. So, yeah. I thank y'all for stopping by, checking out my Hoppin' John dish for today. We're gonna have some chicken with this, some fried chicken. I have some collard greens in the back. They are still simmering. I didn't cook a lot. There's just one bag I had left over from, um, that I didn't cook for Thanksgiving. And of course, these are my butter beans. So yep, yeah, that's gonna be our dinner. So I hope you guys are having something good. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed. And remember, this is a new year, y'all. We're not going to start it off or continue it with any negativity. I wish everyone the best in 2022, the best of everything that God has for them. I'd like for y'all to give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone that you may think want to see how to make this easy pot of Hoppin' John. It is a New Year's tradition in the South. And I started my own little tradition yesterday, which I forgot to actually say my prayer as I was cooking, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this meal that you allowed me to prepare for the nourishments of me and my family's body. Lord, I ask that you allow it to be nourishment and not harm. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This is something that I'm going to start incorporating with my videos, y'all. So, um, y'all will see me either do it in the beginning or in the end because sometimes my mind is being pulled two or three different ways, y'all. So, 
anyway as long as we get it in so yeah i thank my old subscribers for continuing to come back and watch me new subscribers you are welcome 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 if you're not already subscribed what are you waiting for go ahead hit that subscribe button tap the bell and click all so that you are aware each time i upload a new video i love you guys with the love of jesus y'all stay safe and stay blessed and again happy new year from simply carolyn peace